well hello to you and thanks for joining a little Miranda reference for you there they're definitely too big <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Abby, you might recognise me from TikTok, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul of all the clothes that I bought from Brighton. So if you haven't seen that video already, it's up now, I'll try and link it somewhere. I need to get better at this whole YouTube thing. Can we just address the elephant in the room? No, not this. <laughs> so funny. Um, my jumper. Yes, you are correct, that is Tracy Beaker. I feel like that's it, that's enough said, but I will I will continue to elaborate. I got kindly gifted this jumper from an Etsy shop called School Brunches, and it's got Tracy Beaker on it. That's that's what we're going with today. So before I show you the clothes, I'm going to do a little disclaimer. I don't spend money. If I get given money for like birthdays or Christmas or for any reason, I just don't spend it. So I thought, why not update my wardrobe? and spend a little bit of money. The total spend of everything that I bought in Brighton, I actually don't know, let me check. <laughs> the total spend for everything I bought was 212 pounds and 76 pence. Very specific number. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you what I bought. So the first shop that I visited was Bershka because I knew I was gonna wanna spend money in there. In Bershka, I spent a total of £50.96 and I'm going to show you exactly what I bought. So the first thing that I bought from Bershka was this set of cohorts. So the shorts were £14.99 and the top was £11.99. They fit really well, they are so comfy, I love the colour and it also has a little matching print on the back. Then I got this white top which was £11.99. I don't really own anything like this. I don't really own a lot of white clothes. So it's quite nice to have something that um, is smart and it's not black. And finally at Bershka, I got this play suit, which was reduced from 19.99 to 11.99. So I was very happy with this purchase. It also came in a red color as well, but it's really comfy. I love the way that the top looks as well. Very happy with this and very summery. So after Bershka, we went to H&M because I knew it was going to be the place that I would spend the most amount of money. Most of my wardrobe comes from H&M. I just love all the clothes and they fit me really nicely. In H&M, I spent a total of £85.81. and pence. Like I said, it was the shop that I bought the most in. So I'm just going to go straight into showing you exactly what I bought because all of it was so nice. I got this other co-ord set. I love this colour. The shorts were £9.99 and the top was also £9.99. I think I would definitely wear these to dance or I'd wear these out or just lounging around the house. It's just nice to have some cute and comfy clothes. I got these denim Bermuda shorts which were £17.99. They are so comfy. I was not expecting them to fit this nicely but they are super super comfy. And then I got this white belt. I've been looking for a new belt for ages and I thought this was cool. I liked the chain. I liked the fact it was white. I only really wear black belts so I thought this was cool and this was £9.99. And then to match with this I got a little khaki just strappy top which was only £6.99. I think I was most impressed by H&M because their range of summer clothes is amazing at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to keep the shorts on for this outfit because I needed something to pair them with, but I got this Alice in Wonderland t-shirt. I love it so much. I never really wear t-shirts on their own. This t-shirt was £12.99 and then this gorgeous bucket hat was £9.99. I'm so happy with this. It is just the nicest hat I think I've ever bought. And then I also got this necklace, which I'm going to show you close up. Here is the necklace, it is lovely. This gold necklace was £5.99. Also, just to point out, I did get 15% off my entire H&M order because I am a member on the app, so I had a discount code. My whole H&M purchase would have been about £100, but I got it for about £85. Then my final purchase from H&M was this top and dress. The top was £6.99 and the dress was £9.99, which I thought was really cheap. I was really happy with this dress. It says all this love on it, so you could wear it on its own with some shorts. But this top was a medium. It's still fairly tight fitting. So yeah, just be aware of that if you're ordering it, that this is a medium. So extra small and small would be a lot tighter than this. This is comfortable, it's not too tight around the armpits. I don't usually like that, that's why I went for a medium. But I really love this outfit as a whole. 
Then after H&M, I believe the next shop that I bought something in was Zara. In Zara, I only bought one thing, so I spent £19.99. and pence. I don't know why it can't just be £20. I, I will never understand it. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit disappointed in Zara because I've seen so many videos of people doing these big Zara try-on hauls and I couldn't really find anything in there that really stood out to me. But I did find a gorgeous shopping bag. I bought this gorgeous shopping bag. It's floral, it's amazing, it's big, it's just what I need. I've been looking for something like this for a while. We actually went back to Zara to get it because the first time we went in we saw it I thought it was so nice but I hesitated with buying it and then about an hour later we went back to get it because I knew that I'd regret it if I didn't. Then the next shop that I bought things in was Flying Tiger. I thought it was just called Tiger, maybe it is in some places. If you have never been to Flying Tiger you are missing out. <laughs> it's the best shop ever. So in Tiger I spent a total of £10 exactly. I got this pair of sunglasses. They're a bit big, these were four pounds and they've got proper UV protection, so don't you worry about that. And then I bought another pair of sunglasses. Demonstration, please. They have little diamond, not diamonds, you know what I mean. Diamante, what are they called? They've got sparkles on the side. <laughs> these were also four pounds. I think a bargain for four pounds each. And then I also bought a little notebook. <sighs> smells like books, obviously. <laughs> this was two pounds. I believe. Do the maths. 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. This was £2. Then I went to Primark where I spent a total of £12. I only bought one thing in Primark. I have to say it wasn't too busy in the store which is great. Like You had to queue outside to get in but I really appreciated that because it is the least chaotic Primark I've ever been in. So I bought a skirt in Primark. I bought a size 6. The fitting rooms in Primark were shut like many shops. Primark hasn't opened its fitting rooms. Then when I was in another changing room in a different shop I thought I'll just try this on with this top I'm looking at see what it looks like and I'm glad I did because I literally could not do up the zip <laughs> so I went back and got a size 8. This is the only thing I bought in Primark it is this lovely skirt this skirt was £12 it's denim it's got a really nice frill down the front and this skirt is just so lovely. Now with most of these items I can give you links to buy them online you can't buy Primark online, so I suppose you'll just have to go into the shop and see if you can find it. Um, so good luck if you are looking for this. I hope you find it in the shops. And then the final shop that we went into was Urban Outfitters. It was a dangerous idea. Urban have so many nice clothes at the moment. I could have bought that entire shop, but it is just slightly out of my budget. It's just a, it's just a, blah, 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 blah. It's just a tad expensive. But I did get one thing from Urban Outfitters, which came to a total of £34. It was the most expensive item of the day, but one of my favourite purchases because I have been looking for something like that for ages. So I'll stop talking and I'll just show you. My final purchase was this gorgeous, gorgeous sweater vest. I'm so in love with this. I've been looking for a sweater vest for so long. They had so many colours and so many different types. They had purple ones, pink ones, beige ones. I went for the blue, I just really liked the way the blue one looked. But this was £34. It fits so nicely and it's not itchy either. This kind of material can be really itchy, especially if you're wearing it against bare skin. I will definitely layer this with turtlenecks in the winter. But in the summer, it's actually comfy enough and not itchy at all, so I can wear this on its own. But Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. I mean, <laughs> bug off. Bug off. <laughs>